Welcome to the fourth episode of Skyrim Good Content. Today, we're going to be looking at a small quest which had its key character changed with a lot of consequences. We'll be heading to the small mining town of Shorestone, located in the rift. After all these years, it's highly probable that you've already completed the quest Special Delivery, better known as Deliver the Satchel to Werner in Darkwater Crossing and then return to Silgia. It's a pretty simple quest where you deliver the item Silgia's satchel to her father and then bring Werner's satchel back to her. While this may seem like a very insignificant quest, it actually changed a lot during development. Silgia originally didn't exist and instead the female miner of Shorestone was Grelka, who you may now know as the armor vendor in Riften's marketplace. While there is a lot of evidence to back up this claim, the easiest way to notice this is by just looking at the base ID of the NPCs in Shorestone. Film Chars is 000136C3, Oatfels is 000136C4, Grogmars is 000136C6, and Grelka fits right in with 000136C5. While Silgias is completely different, being 000C3A3F. I'll be coming back to that in a minute, but for now, the quest itself. There are two early objects for the quest called Package for Werner and Package for Grelka, internally known as SSD Package to Darkwater and SSD Package from Darkwater, respectively. I'm also pretty sure that SSD stands for Short Stone Delivery. A small side note though, both of these packages use the model of baskets. I can't say for sure if they were intended to use this model or if this was just a placeholder, as baskets and buckets often got used as placeholders during Skyrim's development. This also differs a lot with the final game, as Werner's Satchel and Silgia's Satchel are internally known as FFSS02 Werner's Satchel and FFSS02 Silgia's Satchel respectively, and this time they are prefixed with FFSS02 which stands for Freeform Shorestone 02. So my guess is that the delivery quest was originally a standalone quest. And, while the quest got completely overhauled, not all of the dialogue did. While I can safely assume that they created new dialogue for Grelka's new role, and either re-recorded all of Grelka's old dialogue in the female young eager voice type for Silgia, or created new dialogue, Grelka also took part in some of the scenes in Shorestone, and the developers apparently completely forgot about this, as they didn't change the dialogue referring to Grelka, they didn't re-record Grelka's lines, and Grelka is still one of the NPCs needed to actually make the scene play. All of this combined means that these scenes can never play at all. There are three of them to be exact. Each scene has Grelka talking with one of the male inhabitants. I've been watching the way you mine, and I have to say, I'm very impressed. I owe it all to my father, who started me swinging the pickaxe when I was a barefoot little girl. Well, it shows. Your skill rivals some of the greatest miners I've known. Thank you. It's nice to know someone admires me for more than just my appearance. Grelka, do you fancy a walk tomorrow? Odfell, I've told you time and time again, I'm not interested in a relationship with you. And why not? I'm handsome, strong, and smart. What else could you possibly need? I need someone that cares about me more than they care about themselves. That person isn't you. How are your parents faring, Grelka? Doing better than we are, I would guess. It's no feast in their neck of the woods, either. Last time I was up there, Father said they were barely scraping by. This civil war is taking its toll on all of us. Miners are some of the hardest hit. That's what scares me. I'm afraid I'll travel to Darkwater Crossing and find it burned to the ground. The last scene also confirms that at this point in time, Grelka was indeed the child of Werner and Anneke. The last remnant of this early role for Grelka can be seen in Grelka's factions, She's still part of the potential marriage faction, which speaks for itself. In the final game, however, there is no quest connected to her, making it impossible to increase her disposition with you, making it effectively impossible to marry her. The only reason she possesses this faction is because the developers most likely forgot to remove it after giving her role to Sylgia, meaning that she originally would have become a marriage candidate upon quest completion, just like Sylgia in the final game. And that's about all that can be said on the early special delivery quest and the old Grelka. I hope that I've just educated someone somewhere about scams, good content and then I'm happy. I would love to hear everyone's thoughts and or suggestions in the comments below. And until next episode, we have enough content that keeps going for a long while.